Hello and welcome to this short video on uninstalling SOLIDWORKS. OK, I've got two versions of SOLIDWORKS installed on this machine. I've got 2011 and also I've got 2012. I'm going to uninstall both versions of SOLIDWORKS, starting with 2011, and then I'm going to show you the differences between an uninstall process for 2011 to 2012 and also I'm going to show you the folders and registry settings that you need to remove if you wanted to do an uninstall manually and um, there's two types you can do really you can do a uninstall via the installation manager um, which is just a normal uninstall um, but it will leave uh, some files behind or you can do a full complete uninstall as they call it um, and you can select that in the installation manager. So I'm going to do it both ways and show you guys how you can go about completely removing SOLIDWORKS from a machine. So the first thing I need to do is go and find the uh, the uninstall program. And to do that I'm going to go to the start menu and then do control panel. And depending on what view settings you've got for control panel it may be in uh, maybe small icons um, or large icons. I'm just going to leave it on category and I'm going to go uninstall a program. It's going to populate the list. If I just scroll down you'll notice I've got two installations here of SOLIDWORKS 2011 here and 2012. If I click on 2011 and go uninstall it will load the SOLIDWORKS installation manager. Here it is. just wait for it to go through okay so at this stage it's giving me a prompt of what I want to uninstall so I've got SOLIDWORKS, eDrawings, uh, Workgroup PDM and Flow Simulation which is another add-on for SOLIDWORKS now I could just go remove here and it will just comp it will take off the entirety of SOLIDWORKS um, it will leave um, some files and registry settings behind though so I'm just going to show you how you get to the complete uninstall option um, in the installation manager. So if I right click up here, I can click here and go total uninstall removes all user settings. By doing this it will remove all the registry settings, any folders that it's got um, available in SOLIDWORKS. So it's pretty close to where you started before installed SOLIDWORKS. I'm not going to. I'm not actually going to click on this though. I'm going to leave it as it is here. Uh, I just want to show you after it's done in uninstall what actually you have to do to fully remove it the manual way. So let's click remove. Now it will take a little while to go through this. OK, so the uninstall process has been completed. I'm just going to click OK now. You'll notice that the icons have gone here. The program's been fully uninstalled, but there's still certain bits of SOLIDWORKS that have been left on the machine. Uh, these, these are certain registry keys and also uh, certain folders. So first off, let's have a look at where the folders are. So if I go into my computer and in C drive, and then I go program files and then SOLIDWORKS Corp. Now depending on how you've got your installation set up they may be just SOLIDWORKS in here um, and a few other folders. Uh, I tend to put the year of the installation in a, in a folder and then put everything inside that. So if I go into 2011 you can see here that SOLIDWORKS and SOLIDWORKS Explorer are still left there's actually not a lot left in here uh, it's hardly anything but it does leave that folder behind so to get rid of it I can just simply delete these folders and go delete on those they're gone now I could probably delete that 2011 as well there we go so that's one folder location that you have to remove another one is in the program data folder now you can't get to that normally uh, because it's hidden so if I go to organize and then folder and search options and then go to the view tab I can select here show hidden files folders and drives I'm going to turn that on and go apply 
you'll not now notice that anything that was hidden in this C drive is now available. I can click on program data now and then SOLIDWORKS and now I've got my 2011 installation folder here which I can now delete as well so that's now gone so that's the two folder locations you have to get rid of the next thing you can do is to alter the registry to remove the keys so if I go to the start menu and I type in reg edit like so it will come up with a reg edit program if I just click this it will load the re registry editor let's just expand that a bit so we can have a good look so there's two locations where SOLIDWORKS creates keys and strings in the registry let's have a look at the HG current user first so if I go to software and SOLIDWORKS is here if I expand that there's 2011 if I right click on this and then just go delete it says are you sure you want to permanently delete this key and all the sub keys I'm going to go yes that's now gone now if I only had one version of SOLIDWORKS installed I would just delete the entire folder because I've got 2012 on here as well uh, I'm not going to delete that just yet so the other folder where you have to you have to delete is in software and then SOLIDWORKS and then 2011 now once again I can just delete this one here if I if this was my only version of SOLIDWORKS on here so I didn't have 12 on here as well I would delete this folder and this folder so both of these once you've done that there's no need to save anything it does it automatically so I can just close that and at that point that's the two installation folder directories gone and all the registry keys gone so the only thing left is the toolbox data now whenever you do toolbox at, at the moment when I did the installation it's left the toolbox folder there for me now it does that because you may after the uninstall reinstall 12 and for instance if you've got custom properties or part numbers set up in your toolbox uh, you'll want to bring them you want to convert a 2011 toolbox into 2012 so you'll need to have that data left over so it deliberately leaves it now if you don't need it say you don't customize toolbox at all uh, you can just delete this so I can right click and go delete if for instance that uh, um, you wanted to install 12 now I would suggest very strongly that you back this folder up so I could right click and then go center compress zip folder or then go through and compress it so once I've created this zip I'm just going to rename it with maybe the date um, the main reason I'm doing this is because the back end of Toolbox in 2012 is quite a bit different from 2011 and it's always good to have the backup just in case there's any problems with the conversion process when it w when you install 12 so looks like we're almost done here there we go so I've got a my SOLIDWORKS data folder has now been zipped I could then give it a date so and I know when that backup was taken so at this point I can delete this and I've got a backup if I need to um, reuse it at some point if I was uh, leaving the folder there that is okay so so that's how you do a manual uninstallation to make sure that everything's gone I'm going to show you another way of doing it now in 2012 so if I go to control panel again and then this go to uninstall a program and this go and find SOLIDWORKS 2012 and then go uninstall
Okay, so just like in 2011, I get a set of options uh, that it's asking me what I want to remove. But I also get this advanced options down here. So if I expand this, so at the moment it's doing a standard uninstall, program files and folders. If I go change, it'll give me a, a list of options that I can customize to tell it what to remove. So I can click on registry entries here and it will remove those SolidWorks keys and strings that I removed um, manually in a registry editor. I can also get rid of data files and folders so such as toolbox and any other files and folders that, um, that are on a local computer. Uh, downloaded files and folders as well so if I've downloaded service packs they normally go in the your My Documents folder. Um, it will also delete all of them as well. So here's a list of files and folders that will be removed. There we go. So it's just tidying up the uh, the front end for me. So if I go back to summary now, oops, if I just turn these on, and just go back to summary, and then I do a remove items. Can just go yes. Okay, so SolidWorks 2012 has been removed now. It's going to go okay. So that's the entirety of this this short video on uninstalling SolidWorks. Hope you've learned something. Thank you for watching.